Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island, drilling at the money pit hits a large cavity. The Curse of Oak Island drilling team has hit a major cavity in the money pit area, which the team believes is either a tunnel or a secret chamber. This week on Oak Island, all the main action was happening at the money pit as the team increasingly focuses their efforts on finding the buried treasure in that area. Success rates have been a bit up and down, as always, but this episode showed that real progress is being made. The episode began with an expert briefing the guys in the war room. Had asked geophysicist Jeremy Church if he could take another look at the data from a seismic survey done a couple of years ago, to see if any more useful information could be gleaned from it. And apparently yes. Church presented a very fancy, if a little confusing, computer graphic that showed what appeared to be a square-like structure buried under the surface of the money pit area. The structure is about 160 feet down and has an area of 12 x 12 feet. This info instantly had Marty Lagina wondering if it was the elusive offset chamber that he increasingly believes is hidden underground. But the geophysicist had more. He had also discovered what appeared to be a tunnel, at a depth of 100 feet, stretching from Shaft 12 to this mysterious new structure. Shaft 12 was constructed in 1894 by treasure hunter Fred Blair, his team tunneled down for 30 feet until they were forced to abandon the shaft because of flooding. The guys are expecting to receive delivery of four 10-foot-wide steel casings in the next few weeks, and as Rick Lagina pointed out, they are hungry for some reliable data that will guarantee them success when deciding where to put these casings. With that in mind, they decided to chase Church's info with a borehole drill. Perhaps a little surprisingly, the guys ignored the structure for now and chose to set up the drill near shaft 12 to look for the tunnel, and the result was rather intriguing. The drill team didn't expect to hit anything of note until around the 95 to 100 feet mark, but just after 65 feet, the drill suddenly dropped rapidly and water began brushing up. They quickly realized that they'd hit air, which was rushing and pushing water to the surface. Oak Island team believes they've hit something very old. After confirming that they hadn't hit a deposit of natural gas, which could have caused a massive explosion, they concluded they'd hit a cavity. Surveyor Steve Gutil announced, We pierced something that hasn't been pierced in a long time. Because of the way the drill and the air in the hole were behaving, the team decided that they had either hit a dead-end tunnel or some kind of a chamber. Marty was delighted. He was thinking this could be a secret offset chamber that's hiding the real treasure. The location is interesting because the historical documents make no reference to any searcher work in this specific area. It's all virgin territory, meaning this is very likely the work of folk depositing treasure. The Curse of Oak Island had always been a tale wrapped in mystery and enigma, a story passed down through generations, whispered with awe and wonder. It was a legend that drew treasure hunters, dreamers, and skeptics alike to its rocky shores, each hoping to unravel the secrets buried deep within its soil. The Money Pit, as it was ominously named, held the most allure, a tantalizing promise of riches and ancient relics, protected by traps and intricate engineering that defied time. In the heart of this legend, the Lagina brothers, Rick and Marty, had dedicated years of their lives to uncovering the truth behind Oak Island's most enduring mystery. Their journey was marked by frustration and fascination, successes and setbacks, each season of their expedition, revealing new clues and raising more questions. This particular summer, however, felt different. There was an electricity in the air, a sense of imminent discovery that tingled on the edges of anticipation. The drill team was assembled at the Money Pit, a site that had become a focal point of their exploration. The ground around the pit was a patchwork of excavation marks, drill sites, and scattered equipment, a testament to the relentless pursuit of an elusive treasure. As the sun climbed higher, casting long shadows over the island, the Lagina brothers stood by the drilling rig, their expressions a mixture of hope and determination. 
The drill bit churned into the earth with a steady hum, each rotation a step deeper into the unknown. The team had mapped out a new target zone based on the latest findings from ground-penetrating radar and historical research. This area, they believed, held the key to the next chapter of the Money Pit Secrets. The drill's progress was monitored closely, every shift in the Earth's composition recorded and analyzed. Hours passed, the rhythmic sound of the drill becoming a backdrop to the murmurs of the team. Suddenly, there was a change a subtle difference in the vibrations transmitted through the drill rig. Operators exchanged glances, their senses attuned to the nuances of the machinery. Then it happened. The drill broke through with a jarring drop, the resistance vanishing abruptly as if it had punched through a barrier into open space. The Lagina brothers rushed to the edge of the drill site, peering into the dark shaft, the sense of a large, hollow cavity was undeniable. The excitement was palpable, a collective breath held in the anticipation of what lay below. Scrambled to prepare a camera probe, eager to get a visual of this newfound chamber. It was a delicate operation, the probe's descent slow and cautious, the live feed displayed on a monitor that everyone huddled around. As the camera descended, the initial view was of soil and rock, the familiar textures of the island's subterranean layers. Then quite suddenly, the screen went dark, the signal cutting out. Tension rippled through the group, the equipment checked and rechecked until the feed was restored. The camera continued its journey, finally breaking into a wide open space. The sight that greeted them was breathtaking. The cavity was immense, larger than any previous discovery on the island. The camera's light illuminated the walls, revealing hints of wooden supports and metal glints. It was a man-made chamber, that much was clear. The walls bore the marks of tools. The craftsmanship hinting at an age long past. The team's voices were hushed, reverent in the presence of what might be a major breakthrough. Slowly the camera panned the chamber, each new angle a promise of untold stories. In the corner, something caught the light, a small reflective object that looked like gold. The probe was maneuvered closer, the clarity of the image sharpening to reveal an intricately carved chest, partially buried in sediment. This discovery sent waves of excitement through the team, the possibility of treasure so close at hand igniting their imaginations. Rick and Marty exchanged a glance, their faces alight with the thrill of discovery. This cavity, this hidden chamber, could be the culmination of their years of effort. It was a moment that balanced on the knife edge of history and legend, the tangible evidence of a mystery that had captivated them and countless others for so long. Plans were made swiftly. Excavation of the chamber had to be approached with caution to preserve its contents and avoid triggering any ancient traps. The team worked tirelessly, their movements methodical and precise, the atmosphere charged with the significance of the moment. Every scoop of earth, every brushstroke against the ancient wood, was a step deeper into the heart of the island's secrets. As they excavated, the story of the chamber began to unfold. The chest was carefully unearthed, its ornate design suggesting a time when craftsmanship was a revered art. Inside, they found not just gold, but documents, maps, and artifacts that hinted at a history far richer than they had ever imagined. Each item was a piece of a puzzle, a clue that painted a broader picture of the island's past. The chest, however, was just the beginning. Further exploration of the chamber revealed tunnels leading off into the darkness, pathways that suggested even more to be discovered. The team knew their work was far from over, but this moment, this breakthrough, was a triumph. It was a testament to their perseverance, their unwavering belief in the legend of Oak Island. The discovery of the cavity at the Money Pit was more than just a find. It was a validation of the legend, a bridge between myth and reality. For Rick and Marty Lagina, it was a moment of profound realization, a step closer to solving one of the greatest mysteries of all time. The curse of Oak Island, it seemed, was finally beginning to lift, 
revealing its secrets to those who dared to seek them with unwavering resolve and a spirit of adventure.